Aloha and welcome to, I'm wearing a shirt that came from China that looks kind of cool but it's a little bit too baggy because it's not tapered on the inside and screw you Amazon for not telling me that. So, you need more muzzle? Not going to help because still it's not tapered on the, uh, on the inside and I'm not a fucking fat ass American. Oh my god, did I say that out loud? Discipline people. We can all be addicted to a lot of things. Americans tend to be addicted to being Americans, which means consumption. So, also these LED lights really bother me because I don't have a soft white or a uh, or a uh, hard white, some kind of white. That thing. Today was a great day, or an interesting day at least. I have been talking to the the girl who slept with the dude that bothered me because I thought we were doing a thing. And then she invited me out surfing. Well, I have been inviting her out uh, recently since we've been reconnecting, but in kind of a mm, <clears throat> sexually assertive way. And last night she invited me uh, out surfing. She's like, hey, let's go surf. And I was like, okay, you know, how about the morning? She's like, all right, fine. And then, uh, and then, and then, and then um, her response was, uh, oh yeah, I also invited blah, 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 another dude. And I'm like, seriously. So, I sent her a, a text that was definitely insinuating, but also, you know, like calling her out on her bullshit, like, hey, I know you want a double bang, but I've already been down that road, which I have in, in like my 20s with another dude and not looking for that, sorry, or not looking at like, I, I really enjoy this like one-on-one -on -one time that we have. I'm busy in my life. Uh, you know, if, if, if you want to bring another girl along, we'll, we'll get a hotel or we meet another couple, we can swap, you know, whatever. But I also have an appointment later in the afternoon. So I'm not going to wait for a time where this dude is free because, uh, we had agreed to meet in the, uh, in the morning. And it's not that I have anything wrong with the dude. I don't like the dude. I like the dude. The dude's a nice dude. At least she's, he's uh, not as shitty as the uh, other dude that she decided to bang with. The, um, <laughs> and, and then, and then I said, uh, you know, so if you're all like hot and hot and thirsty or, or whatever, uh, after surfing, you know, just, just come by my house. And, uh, and she was like, this was this morning that I sent the text and she was like, okay, yeah, let me see what I, what I'm doing after diving uh practice and i i uh so i went surfing in the morning not a lot of waves finished up surfing and uh right as i was i was finishing and also flirting with this thai girl <laughs> she rolls up with the dude um and i'm like oh i guess it's been two hours and and you guys have decided to surf you know two hours sooner than than you said you were um it was whatever, and I uh, I said uh, something about you know let me know about this evening, and she was like oh yeah yeah I'll, I'll I'll let you know you know what time are you done, and I had intended to go to yoga, however I needed some things done in my apartment, and so when I got home, uh, my landlord indicated that that a repairman was coming over this afternoon uh or this evening to to work on some things and, and that was great because i needed to be taken care of because termites in hawaii <sighs> that's a thing so good thing that and and she she actually she ended up canceling which the universe works out well and i'm i'm interested as to what she meant in her text by I'll, uh, you know, uh, I do want to talk to you soon because, and, and explain, you know, why I've been distant lately, 
Love to hear it. Love to hear it. It's never me. It's you. I mean that outside you, not the use that's inside of this camera, and not the use that's on YouTube, and it's going to click and subscribe to this video so that we can continue feeding some, con us consumption and become fat Americans on media, not just food. And so, who knows what the reason is. I spent a little bit of time pondering it. Don't really care. I, I can't care because I have other things to do, like grad school. Um, oh, the Thai girl, she's so cute. She wants to study psychology too. Oh my gosh. And has a boyfriend who's Thai. I'm not getting involved with that. I'm not gonna, not, not playing a visa game right now <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Women are great. If you're a woman, click and subscribe. Comment below and tell me how distracting you are with your, uh, with your contact info. Other than that, um, yeah, reconnecting with uh, with an old uh, friend from school and former business partner and um, trying to fire him up about some project ideas in Hawaii that I can do while I am in, uh, in grad school, thinking about going back and uh, probably going to reactivate my real estate license because that's something that I can do uh, while I am in grad school. Uh, and and try to get my commercial license as well. That would be freaking cool. That's how I'm gonna make money. And um, yeah, get an apprenticeship in um, in uh, in commercial. So what else is there? Hair's looking cool in this light. Don't know what it'd look like under hard white or or soft white light because the bulbs don't work. At least the people on AliExpress, you know respond to me unlike the people who don't click and subscribe <laughs> just kidding there was something else i wanted to tell you guys oh yeah but it, it's been a great day like like planning my week working through my week and um feeling motivated to to move forward in life in 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 ways that i haven't before and feeling very um conscientious of, of what I'm doing and uh, and my habits and yeah it's great so Reese turns out like resetting myself and comparing myself to the end of October set point was very very strong so now I can say hey you know that's that's what I'm comparing myself to so let's improve on that version of myself and I suggest, uh, I recommend that everyone out there does the same. I'm going to read some uh, Young Pueblo this evening. As she looked into her past, she noticed that the road she had traveled was no simple straight line. Her journey toward fully loving herself and the world was full of forward and backward movement, twists, turns, detours, and even some pauses. At times, she doubted her progress her potential, and even her power to change. But today, with the wisdom of experience at hand, she knows she could not have gotten to where she is without every movement she has ever made. Experience. Serious transformation begins with two commitments. The courage to try new things and act in new ways, and the honesty needed to no longer hide or from or lie to ourselves. Yeah that's huge and that is that is the defining uh, last couple months of this year and moving into next to kick it off with just a the people with the power to move and act through unconditional love will be the healers and heroes of our planet a new balance interlude yeah there's um, something that I've heard some of the hippies say like you know how many people does it does it really take and and this is um i think is borne out in certain in in certain studies right like how many people does it take before there's a tipping point where those people are influential and and then everybody else initiates change so not everybody in America had to start doing yoga and meditate 
for people to start becoming a little bit more conscious and aware of the fact that, you know, eating certain foods or using certain chemicals or acting in certain ways pollutes your body and your mind and your spirit. There was a woman who lived in a small town near a tall mountain. She had lived in her beloved town all her life. Everyone in the community thought highly of her and appreciated her kindness and calm manner. She lived a quiet life and worked as any other normal person. Those close to her knew that she was dedicated that knew that she was a dedicated meditator, that she sat silently for a few hours a day in deep self observation. When they would ask her why she took meditation so seriously, she would simply respond by saying, I like to learn and peace. I like to learn and peace is important to me. As time went by, her calmness continued to grow and a saintly radiance became apparent in her eyes, but only a few were aware that a great change had happened within her. A day came when she told those closest to her that she would soon be leaving the town to live by herself near the top of the mountain. When asked why she was leaving, she merely stated, It is time for me to fully unlock my freedom. Some tried to dissuade her, but most trusted her and felt comfort knowing that the mountain was close by. A decade quickly and quietly passed. The people began thinking of her as their guardian angel, because ever since she had moved to the mountain, the town had become calmer and more prosperous. They imagined that it might be from the good energy that she regularly emitted. There was a group of young people in the town who had vague memories of this woman who was slowly becoming a living legend. They were curious and hungry for wisdom from someone who had become being a being of complete freedom. It had somehow become common knowledge that she had accomplished this goal. None of them had seen her since they were children, but they heard stories from people who would occasionally venture up to the mountain to visit her. Those who saw her would return to the town inspired and rejuvenated. One day, the young people gathered their courage and decided that it was time to pay her a visit. They organized their questions, packed light bags for a short trip, and made their way to the mountain in hopes of sharing in the woman's clarity. The following are a few of the questions and answers between the young people and the one who is free. They asked her, How did you free yourself? She answered, By embracing my own power. They asked her, what does it mean to love herself? She answered, It means to uncover and release what keeps you from true happiness, true love. To love, honor, and accept every single part of you, especially those that are kept in the dark. It means to observe yourself continually with the utmost honesty and without judgment. Loving yourself means striving to reach new heights of self-understanding so as to cultivate the wisdom that inner peace requires. They asked her, what is the key to saving the world? She answered, you are the key. Heal yourself, know yourself, make yourself whole and free. Release all limits so that your love can flow unconditionally for yourself and the world. This will open the heaven of your heart and it will guide you without fail. They asked her, why are we here at a time when there is so much misery and despair. She responded, because you answered the call, the earth signaled for heroes, and the heavens sent forth the ones who were more ready to grow and unleash their unconditional love. You are here to shine the light of your own healing, to offer the world the gift of your balance and peace. They asked her, are you wealthy? She responded, yes. It took years to build, but now there is a palace in my heart that I have constructed out of awareness, calmness, and wisdom. They asked her, what is true power? They, she answered, true power is living the realization that you are your own healer, hero, and leader. It is when you share your truth with compassion and peace that your power grows, when you make progress in your own freedom and wisdom. Those who are truly powerful do not harm themselves or others. Instead, they use their energy to enrich all they know with love. Next chapter, self-love. That was a very tingly, um, that was a very tingly read for me. So, aloha 
and good evening.